Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my puzzle haul for the month of October. However, just like the September haul, this doesn't include any of the puzzles that I got while I was in Europe. Uh, I believe those are on a shipping container somewhere between here and Poland. And who knows when they're going to turn up, but whenever they do, I will definitely be doing a haul video for the Europe puzzles. So for this October haul, there aren't actually too many puzzles to go through, but there is a bit of a fun mix of brands and different styles of puzzles. So without further ado, let's go through them all. So first up, I've got a giant stack of puzzles here from the brand Reverie, who are actually based here in Australia. So that's pretty cool. And they tend to make a lot of book related puzzles or fantasy themed puzzles. So let's take a look at what I picked up. So this first one is called Bestiary and it's 1000 pieces and it's just a beautiful image. I love the colors and the illustration and they uh, work with a range of different artists who all seem to be very talented and just create the most beautiful uh, artworks. And this one's no exception. So yeah, I really love this one. I think the colors sort of make me think of like sunset or dusk or a bit of both. It's very magical looking. Um, yeah, I love like the different sort of, I guess, beasts or mythological kind of creatures, uh, I guess, flying out of this book and there's cute little moths and I guess, yeah, it almost looks a bit sunsetty down the bottom and then into the sort of dusk sky maybe. So yeah, very pretty and lots of the stars. Yeah, very magical. So I think this one's going to be a really beautiful one to piece together. And then next uh, is one called Goddess of Gemini and it's 1000 pieces and this one's really interesting and has beautiful colors in it as well. Uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't know if this comes from a story or if it's sort of a, a myth. I mean, I know Gemini is obviously a um, star sign, but I don't know what the Goddess of Gemini is, but um, I mean, that doesn't really bother me that I don't know. But I just think it's really beautiful with this like lady, I guess the goddess sort of playing a flute and have these like, she has these beautiful rich purple robes and even like a crystal headband. And, and then we've got like, I guess almost looks like a spirit goddess behind her, like in the moon um, playing a harp. So yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on and butterflies, very mystical and mysterious actually, but yeah, very beautiful. So yeah, I just think this is a really lovely one as well. And then next, we have another gorgeous one. I mean, they're all gorgeous. This one is called Legends of the Moon and it's 1000 pieces. And I think this one is really pretty. This is definitely one of my favorites on, these are all recent release puzzles. So this is definitely one of my favorite ones. And yeah, oh, it's got some very cute things in it too. Um, yeah, I just think it's very, very pretty. Love the colors and all the details and just the women in it and the animals and everything just are so beautifully uh, illustrated. So yeah, I think this is going to be a lovely one to do. Just, yeah, I love the colors, like all the different dresses and sort of robes of, um, I guess they're sort of goddesses. It's like legends of the moon, but they sort of, yeah, I guess like goddess type uh, people. And there's like cute little bunny rabbits and clouds and flowers. Yeah, very, very pretty. Just so much detail. You can see the moon outside. I love the sort of light and dark elements. Yeah, it's just lots of detail and even all the, there's lots of patterns on the robes and yeah, a lot of attention to detail and yeah, just really, really pretty and beautiful. And then next, this is another one of my favorites and you can probably guess why when you see it in a sec, it's called a rainbow library or you can probably tell by the name and it's also 1000 pieces and it's just really cute. Um, I think if I had lots of books, maybe this is what my library would look like as well. Uh, yeah, I just love all, all the colors and uh, yeah, it's just really pretty and it's just a very sort of lighthearted, uh, charming image and really cute. But yeah, the books are pretty and the girl and her dog, it's just, yeah, a really sweet image and just looks, I think it'd be really fun to do. And again, there's a lot of very pretty details, like even amongst the books, there's lots of little, uh, thing like knickknacks. There's like plants and vases, mirrors, a mushroom, and then the dogs are really sweet and cute as well. Um, I love that it's helping. It's helping by handing her books, very cute. So she's putting all the books away and then she's sort of, I guess, been doing some art here as well. She's got some art supplies on the table. Yeah, really cute and little fairy lights. So lots of lovely details. So yeah, I think this will be a very fun one to do. 
And then last out of this sort of, I guess, we'll call them normal puzzles because I do have an advent calendar to show you as well. This one is actually, I think it's their first 1500 piece one that I know of. And gosh, it's quite heavy. Um, it's called Reader's Arcade. And this one, yeah, so 1500 pieces. It's really gorgeous and uh, really a lot of fun as well. I really like this one. I think it's just so creative and imaginative. I haven't really seen anything quite like it. And like I said, a lot of the puzzles are sort of book related or book themed. So I like that this is, I guess, an arcade for book lovers, really. And I just love the pinky purples in it. And again, all the characters in it, like all the women are just like, look really uh, like cute and well-drawn and I love everyone's outfits. Uh, yeah, and there's just like lots of fun details. Like what have we got? We've got sort of, well, I mean, it's an arcade, so there's like magic claw machines and arcade games and like a vending machine and then books and oh actually I've just noticed something very cute and very meta so there seems to be like a prizes in the background behind some of the uh, machines and I can actually see some puzzle designs from Reverie like there's actually little puzzles that they can win and some of them are actual designs so that you can get so that's pretty cool I like that sort of attention to detail very cute and um, yeah really fun but yeah love the purpley pinks and then the sort of pops of yellow and and it's just like lots of cute details so I think this one's gonna be a lot of fun and yeah really interesting that they've branched out and made a 1500 piece because they did used to do some 500 pieces but then they've sort of stuck to 1000 pieces for a long time so yeah interesting that they sort of upped it and now gone to 1500 pieces so yeah it'll be uh, interesting to see if they end up doing more I guess it depends how popular this one proved to be but yeah I'm I mean I don't have a problem with it I think It'll be a fun challenge to do. And then uh, last from Reverie is, like I said, an advent calendar. So this one, you might remember from the September haul that I had a kind of old style book advent calendar from Pintu. So this is a bit similar. So this is the uh, a bookish Christmas puzzle advent calendar, calendar, 24 mini puzzles, 150 pieces each. Um, and it's, yeah, it's done like an old style book as well and has beautiful gold foiling and just a lovely illustration on the front. So yeah, really pretty. Uh, yeah, it looks like a girl who's uh, looking, doing a bit of window shopping for some Christmas books or Christmas presents maybe, maybe for herself, maybe for others. And I like in the gold foiling, there's like cute little candy canes and bows and books and just a pretty like pretty designs um, and then the back has a bit of a blurb too which is just nicely decorated and then even the spine and like the Pintu one it's got like the sort of pretend pages and then the exciting bit is uh, when you open it up oh this is actually quite heavy so you've got uh, like lots of little mini boxes which uh, Hopefully you can see that okay. Lots of mini boxes each with one of the puzzles in. So yeah, really cute. And they're all just uh, numbered 1 to 24 and they each have a different name. So number one's Gingerbread Library and number two's Window Shopping, um, etc. I'm not going to read them all out, but yeah, really cute. Um, so yeah, pretty excited about this one as well. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. And I've, I've had a sneak peek at some of the designs. Um, I'm not sure if I'll... Uh, what I'm gonna what my plans are with this puzzle I'm also not sure if I should show you any of the designs because I feel like that might spoil it for anyone who wants who has this and doesn't want to look at the designs until they pick the day they're working on so I don't know if I am gonna make a dedicated video to this um, although maybe I'm thinking I might do little reels or shorts um, doing one each day in December that could be fun so maybe something like that so you might still get to sort of see each design and I'll just do one per day I think that might be fun because I am doing a video for the Pintu advent calendar. So that will have its own dedicated video. But I mean, if I get time and I sort of think people will enjoy it, I might do a video. But if not, I think I will at least record little reels slash shorts and uh, for each day's puzzle. I think that will be fun too. So let's go through this next stack of puzzles. So there's a bit of a mix of brands here, but first up I've got three from the brand Cloudberries and they very kindly uh, sent these to me. So I'm really looking forward to doing them all because they're quite uh, me kind of puzzles, very colorful and interesting. So this first one is Reverie and it's 1000 pieces. And I just love the colors and the sort of quirky design. 
yeah, it's really interesting. There's so many details going on. I love the sort of stylized art style, like with the sort of thin pen drawn uh, elements and then sort of uh, just, yeah, these sort of interesting, I guess, mostly flat colors. There's a few gradients here and there, but for the most part, like it's quite a sort of flat 2D image, but yeah, it's really interesting. And I guess the name Reverie sort of, I think means like to dream or a dream. So it, the sort of theme of the image looks very surreal and dreamlike, so that kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, there's all sorts of interesting details going on. I mean, there's my favorite where <laughs> there's a lady holding her cat up here. So of course, uh, but no, there's yeah, so many beautiful things going on, but very quirky, strange things. Like there's a butterfly in a, in a bird cage here. There's a beetle with a ribbon tied to its leg. There's a giant praying mantis. Um, there's a pink horse on its side. Yeah, just so much going on. So hopefully you can see the details. If not, I'll see if I can put a bigger image on the screen. But yeah, just really beautiful and strange and mysterious at the same time. But yeah, definitely one I'm looking forward to. And then next is a really, definitely very me puzzle called Symmetry. And uh, this is just really fun and colorful. Also 1000 pieces. I just uh, love all the patterns and colors and and I love that it's symmetrical, although I think that's going to make it very challenging because um, there's a lot of sort of repeated colors and elements. And I love all the geometry, like sort of geometric shapes, like little squares and circles and uh, yeah, triangles and things. Yeah, I really like the style. It's very cool. It almost makes me think of like a quilt or something as well, a little bit, just because of its, if, because of its symmetry and the sort of geometric nature. But I also like that it's a little bit interesting because we've got what looks like a pair of eyes here. So it's not just sort of shapes maybe there's like a bit of a i don't know a creature or something in there it's a little bit mysterious and it'd be interesting so yeah i think it's gonna be fun i think it's gonna be very challenging um but yeah i'm also hoping to do this one probably soon over on my instagram so i guess keep an eye out for that um but yeah i think it's gonna be yeah really uh, a cool one to do and i think it's gonna look stunning when it's done as well and so the last one from cloudberries is uh, NYC or New York City and this is a really cool one and it's kind of very similar to the others in a way too um, yeah I really love this one as well so it's more kind of muted um, almost like sort of vintage or retro colors but I really like it but it too like Reverie has a lot of that sort of stylized art style with like the sort of simple or like thin pen lines and uh, like again simple sort of shapes and like very sort of flat shapes and colors and things and a lot of sort of geometric shapes a bit like symmetry so yeah it's almost like a little bit of a combination of the other two but yeah so i guess i've got a bit of a theme going here but yeah i really love it um and it's fun having a lot of the iconic new york sort of elements in there like the statue of liberty and the subway and um you know like the taxis and some of the museums and things like that so yeah i think this will be a fun one to do looks pretty tricky as well Definitely, I think all of these will be a bit challenging. I guess Reverie might be the least challenging just because it's a bit more um, distinct, like in terms of the elements in it. Whereas this and Symmetry have a lot of, yeah, like more shapey type things rather than clear images. So I think, yeah, this will be tricky as well. But yeah, I really like it. And I kind of like this color palette. It's very, pretty cool and vintage. So next I've got one from the brand Bepuzzled and it's one of the impossibles and it's the monopoly edition randomly found it at my local supermarket which i didn't even know had puzzles so there you go and it's 750 pieces and i've never actually done one of these impossible puzzles before but i thought it looked fun and i was up for the challenge and even though it's only 750 pieces i think it's gonna be difficult because i've got a blurb here on the back it says it's the world's most difficult puzzle the 750 piece borderless puzzle has irregular edges, images that make it hard to tell which end is up and five extra pieces that don't fit. <laughs> so that sounds uh, fun. The perfect challenge for any accomplished puzzle fan. So yeah, I'm up for the challenge. Maybe this one could be a good uh, challenge video to do. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, like I said, I've never done one of these, but I've sort of always been a bit intrigued. And then when I saw it, I was like, well, that's fun and Monopoly's uh, well, Monopoly is kind of a fun game unless you play with my husband who always wins and it's no fun at all. <laughs> but um, yeah, I thought this would be a good one to try and 
I kind of like the Monopoly imagery, so I think, yeah, it'll be fun. And yeah, let me know if you think it would make a good video. And then we've got a 1000 piece one here from Buffalo Games, and this is by part of the Amy Stewart collection. It's called Tiki Beach Sunset. And this is definitely a very me puzzle because one, I love Amy Stewart's designs. I love Tiki's and I just love her use of colors and details in this puzzle. I think it's just beautiful. Um, it's just like lots of really rich sort of saturated colors and there's so many lovely details. I, yeah, I think she always does a fabulous job with her puzzle designs and they're always so fun to put together and just always really beautiful as well. But yeah, I love the sort of purples and teals and she's got so many fun details um, like all the sort of tiki carvings, the little cocktail bar at the back with little tiki mugs, the cute kind of like 1950s cat, um, coconut cocktails, uh, lays like the flower lays, other, yeah, like so many things like sea or fish related things, pirate related things. And we've even got a peek out to the sunset beach out the door. So yeah, there's so much going on, but I think it'll be just a beautiful one to do as well. And then we've just got three more puzzles here. Um, and these are all from the French brand Trevel, which not Treffel, but Trevel, because I have gotten confused in the past. So this is a really gorgeous one. It's called Sunrise Harmony and it's 1000 pieces. And again, just stunning colors. They have so, they seem to work with a range of different artists too. And they actually remind me a bit of Reverie um, because they seem to have, I don't know, just very charming and sweet images like Reverie do and a bit fantastical. And like this one's got like sort of books in it as well. Like these uh, women sort of enjoying the, I guess, sunrise, having a bit of a sort of picnic. Maybe they've even like camped out under the stars because it's sort of got all these blankets and pillows and they've got books and, but the colors are just really beautiful. Like lots of candy colors and sunrise colors and lots of beautiful flowers. I'm looking at an image on the back. That's why I can remember what's in the image. Um, yeah, lo just really lovely, a lovely nature scene and very whimsical and charming. So I think it's just going to be a really beautiful one to do. And I've never done any of their full size puzzles. I've got a couple in my to do giant to do stack, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I think this one's going to be really beautiful and a really lovely one to put together. And so the last two puzzles I have from Trevel are actually uh, a couple of their mini puzzles. They're only 99 pieces each and they do quite a few of these and they have the cutest images. Now I'm gonna hold this up. This one's called Summer Drive and it's just really lovely. I, hopefully you can see this okay. If not, I'll try and put a bigger image on the screen for you. Um, but yeah, really cute. Yeah, I just well, thought these looked just really sweet and like a fun little one to do. Great one to have on your desk at work or just do when you need a little mini puzzle break. Um, but yeah, this one's just lovely sort of, uh, I guess like a beach scene and couple people enjoying a lovely, maybe it's a weekend drive in the countryside, but then heading to the ocean. It's got these beautiful green hills and lots of flowers and a lovely like sort of pinky sky. So yeah, really, really cute. Um, and I've done a couple, like I think three, I've got three others from their sort of mini series and the quality was very good. I was very impressed. You could even do a little mini puzzle pickup, but the pieces were just lovely, not at all glary, fit together very well, no false fits. And yeah, the images are just really, really cute and beautiful. And then the last one, which is a mini puzzle, is also 99 pieces and it's called Promenade. And yeah, it's really beautiful as well. Hopefully you can see that again. If not, I'll pop an image on the screen. But yeah, just a very charming image, very sweet. Just this girl kind of, I guess, maybe walking home from, looks like she's been out to the markets or something. Oh, actually, yeah. Okay, I probably need glasses for this, but I think what I thought was a loaf of bread in her basket on her bike, I think it's actually a cat. Hmm. Yes, I think it's a cat or it's a loaf of bread with ears. I'm not sure, but she's also got a bunch of flowers. So it kind of looks like maybe she's been to the local markets or something and she's sort of walking the bike and maybe the cat loaf of bread back home um, and just sort of admiring a beautiful like field of flowers and the hills. So yeah, it looks really pretty. So I think that's gonna be a lovely one to do as well. So that was everything for the October haul. There weren't too many puzzles, but there was still a fun mix of different styles and different brands. And let me know in the comments below which ones were your favorites. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 
And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore jibby where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.